Alright, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than the usual, uh, gotcha gameplay. And by gameplay, I just mean summonings. Today, I'm going to be doing a hardcore Nuzlocke of, uh, Pokemon Light Platinum. And for everyone who doesn't know what a, uh, hardcore Nuzlocke is, basically think of, like, a normal Nuzlocke, like, the normal rules, uh, only catching the first Pokemon per route, um, you have to nickname all Pokemon. If a Pokemon faints, it dies. But in this, there's going to be a couple, uh, extra caveats because there's going to be a level cap i cannot over level the next gym leader whatsoever all my pokemon have to be on the level like they don't have to be but they can't be over the level of the highest level pokemon of the gym leader um and along with that i cannot use any items in battle and just, okay i've done a i've done one other hardcore nuzlocke before and it was with platinum and in that i set the game to set and it made the game so much more fun because like i don't think people realize like, one of the things with Pokemon, uh, I'm actually going to get uh, this started while I talk about this. I don't think something that people uh, realize about uh, Pokemon games' difficulty is that, like, it's kind of also, why is it chugging? It says it's running at 100%. Um, is that it's kind of made by the players. Like, they, they've put things in place to make the game harder. Like, uh, I feel like if you're playing on set mode, I mean on shift... You're kind of just playing on easy mode. And not like, I'm not going to say like, oh, you're wrong for doing this. But like, you're base. that's basically what you're doing. And so if you want the games to be harder, ooh, what does the girl look like? You know, I did play through this game one time, like, freaking, I think it was like a month or something after this game originally came out. And I don't remember what that was, but it was like, that was for, I was in middle school when I was playing through this game. And I am now, I've already finished a year of college. And that was after taking a semester off, and I'm currently taking a semester off again because of, a uh, Corona. So let's... I want to pick girl, because I picked boy last time. Um... Let's just go... Doo -doo -doo. Also, I'm used to playing on Desume, or Desmus. I didn't mean to do that. No. I'm a girl. Um... So that's why I'm, I'm not like clicking like a uh, select and stuff. It's just because I'm so used to Desume or Desmume, however you want to say it. Uh, let's just go with Dark because Dark Bender will never fit in one of these games. Uh, but I played this like forever ago when it first came out, and then I saw that there was a DS remake being played of it, and I'm just like, I'm getting really excited because uh, DS ROM hacking is apparently like over the past little while is apparently taking started like taking like huge steps forward, which is super exciting. Because uh, I personally love the DS games, like, uh, Gen 4 and Gen 5 are, like, easily my two favorite gens of Pokemon. So, just, like, seeing that the games can be, now be, like, made in their engines. Also, I'm going to read this the, the dialogue for this first episode. If people don't like that, then just tell me down below. But I'll just do it for this. And then I'll get back to whatever rant I was talking about. Where is this place? Sounds like a dream, or some kind of messed up world. Okay, alright. Also, I have zero game audio right now. Um, just because... I, I, If you've listened to any of my other videos, you might be able to tell, but I got a brand new mic. It's a Focusrite uh, XLR microphone. I mean, no, the Focusrite is the audio interface. It's an Uhuru, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but because of the audio interface, I, I can't hear anything, and I don't know how to get that to work, because there's, an micro, there's a headphone jack, but I don't have, like... The kind of head... I don't have, like, the gamer headset, you know? Um, so I can't use it right now. So I don't know if that would let me hear what's happening, like, my desktop audio, or if it will just play back to me what I'm saying. Um, and I haven't really looked it up too much, because I just plan on getting a headset eventually anyways, and then I'll find out. So, I, like, whenever there's, like, these moments of silence, it's literally just me sitting here, just staring at a blank screen while, no I no while nothing's happening. Like, that's why, like, that moment of the hair just, like, staring up was, like, so, like, it, did the game just crash because nothing's happening and I don't hear anything? Also, did they just kill Arceus? Again, I don't remember, like, anything about this game other than I loved playing it. That's, like, literally the only thing I remember. This is very strange. That'd also be my reaction if I just saw three Pokemon murder God. I've got to be, I've got to be having a nightmare. And I twas. Okay. PC. Anything in here? Can I not? I can't even select it. Okay, I can select this stuff, so I guess there's just nothing in the PC. 
Hi, Dark. I'm glad you woke up. I was waiting to give you a message from Professor Jasmine. She's asking if you go to Central City. Something strange is happening there involving Alpha, the language only you know because of your father taught it to you before he disappeared. Okay, Mom. There's one more thing. The clock stopped working and I forgot the time. Alright, what? Okay, 1.07 p.m. Alright. Alright, now we can just back it up a little bit. Uh, the droids have a speed up button. The thing that, like, I unironic. Some people might dis. Okay, wait. I'm forgetting how to tell time here for a second. Alright. It's about there. Bam. Thanks. Remember to go to Central City to meet Professor Jasmine. She's very, very, she's very helpful to everyone. Yes, I'm on my way now. See you later. If, if you need me, I'll be downstairs. Alright, alright. Let's just go. Um. See, I'm, I'm a little worried that I'll just keep getting interrupted every, like, five seconds, so I just wait. Hello, friend. Is this Dark's house? Yes, that's me. Good. Professor A Jasmine asked me to come get you because she urgently needs your help in Central City. I was on my way just now. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm... Kaori. Kaori? Yes, the current champion of the... Z the Zeri region. I'm never going to be, like, good with these names. I'm a close friend of Pro Professor Jasmine. And she asked me to and a few friends to help to urgently look into this great mystery. She thinks it may be linked to the world's creation. Very interesting. Let's get there as fast as we can. Salamence will take us there now. Salamence use fly. Also, hopefully you guys can see like on the layout I'll have like the Pokemon, what gym we have, and the current level cap. Um, and I did just remember that this guy basically just uses all dragon types. So if you just want to beat this guy, I'm pretty sure you just need to bring ice. Because I think he has like... I think he has Haxorus, uh, Salamence, and then maybe, like, Hydreigon. I don't remember the last one. because, But I remember he uses, like, three dragons. They must be close to the lake. In the center of the city. Let's go. Am I gonna be able to play the game? And I want to speed up a little bit just to make things go slightly faster in some parts like that. Hello, Dark. I asked for help from Ash... Oh, I forgot he was in this game. And Kaori for the study because it's very hazardous. If something goes wrong, everyone on this planet would be in danger. I'll be careful, Professor. Hi, I'm the current world champion of the Pokemon League. Oh, that will never happen. And Kaori is the champion of Zephyr. Or Zeri, sorry. I already know who you and Kaori are. I've seen you on TV all my life. Okay, Dark, I called you here to decipher these ancient inscriptions written in the Alpha language. Hmm. Well, these inscriptions talk about the creation of the universe. It was made by Arceus, who created the other Pokemon along with the rest of existence. But it seems that the balance of his power will gradually be broken and the world will pass through times difficult and dangerous for humanity. Hmm. 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 It really isn't it really is important scripture that must be destroyed before evil forces discover its power. Okay, Professor, I'll destroy this old document now. And pour the on. Use hydro pump to destroy the writings. Now use rain why? I use rain dance. I mean, hey, I guess if we get a fishing rod, this is just a fishing spot. Now I have to deal with Zephyr League issues. Ash and Dark, I bid you farewell. Salamence, use fly. I'll go now, too. Goodbye, Professor. If there are any problems, let me know immediately. Why were they here? If all we were doing was just looking at a thing. Well, well, Professor. I was waiting for those two strong trainers to go away so that I could force you to give me the secrets of the universe's creation. You'll never learn it! Prepare to face my wrath, Poochiana. Jasmine, hey, Dark, take a Pokeball from my bag and use it to fight Team Steam. Team Steam? I do not remember that. Oh. Um? Alright. Now, here, if we we're going based off of my favorite, I would pick Bulbasaur. But the first gym leader is a bug type. And I kind of want to just prepare for, like, all the gyms. Like, I just want to be prepared for all the gyms. Because I remember this game being decently difficult. So I'll just take Charmander. Um, especially since I'm pretty sure he'll probably learn dragon type moves in this game. So it probably won't be, like, too big of a deal to deal with his dragons if I also have some dragon type moves on a non-dragon type. Ooh. Also... I just, oh, I, I love how this game looks. It looks so, like, for being, like, such a, like, a early, like, ROM hack, 
like granted 2012 or 2013 whenever this came out isn't really like that early um, but I just love the look of this game Team Steam's hit list. I'm on Team Steam's hit list. That's all we got from that. Oh, dude, that slide, though. Thank you very much, but now Team Steam will be after you. So I'll give you the po this Pokemon to protect yourself. Take care and train hard to challenge the Zephyr League. And always be ready to fight Team Steam. Can I, can I go? Do you want to give your Pokemon a nickname? Ooh, okay. What should... I want to do a nicknaming theme, just because, like... That helps you always be prepared for a nickname. Um, you know what, just because my entire channel is based around anime, I'm just going to do anime-based names. All right, all right. Uh, Backspace, I think, is Civil what? Is it not? I thought I looked up the controls, and it said it was. All right, whatever. We'll do things the slow way. There we go. Natsu. Love it. Please enter. Not. Is it shift? What freaking button is... Uh, that's going to become a problem. Okay, Dark. Let's go back to my lab in Yellowtown. Okay. Hi, Dark. Welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor. I'm ready to help you now. Okay, now that you've got your first Pokemon... I think you should train hard and become a master by challenging the Zephyr, the Zeri League and its eight gyms. I'm going to keep saying Zephyr just because it reminds me of the Zephyr badge. Yes, I've dreamed of that all my life, and I'll make my dreams come true. Right, but first I have one last request to you. To the east of Central City lies Murfenny Lake. Professor Oak is at the lake, and I urgently need you to speak with him. Can I ask you to get him to, to uh, contact me? All right, I'll go right now. You know... I now have, like, an entire evil organization after me. Would it be too... Oh, wait, wait, she said to the east. I'm going the wrong way. Um, would it be too much to ask to get, like, the other two starters now that I'm on an evil organization's hit list because of you? Wait, wait, where the freak am I supposed to be going? Hang on. I am so... I'm pretty sure I'm just stupid. I thought I was to the... I guess it's to the east of Central City, or whatever. Also, I should mention, I count Nuzlocke rules as starting immediately. Um, like, right now, my Pokemon could die before I get, like, any Pokeballs and stuff. I don't count, like, because I feel like if you, I don't do that, then I could just sit here and just grind for free, you know? Also, I just realized that there's a trainer up above, so I probably shouldn't be doing this. Um... I want to go see if I can go back to mom and get healed. Uh, yeah, no, you can basically just train for free if you don't do that, you know? So I'm like, eh, there's no point in not doing it. Um, but what I was saying, wait, hey, Dark, you're the pride of my, you're always this. Can I not heal here? Can I heal on my bed? No. Okay, I need to find out this, how to start. Alright, 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 alright. Wait, what? What button was that? Hang on, hang on. Why is that select? So that's... Okay. I'll have to change that later. Hang on. Do I have any items? Are we about to wipe to the first trip? Hang on. Hold up. Can I go back to, like, somewhere at the, like, the professor's house to heal? Or you look like a nurse. Your Pokemon are healed. Wait, are they really? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, also I'm holding an item. Hang on. What is this? It's probably going to be, like, charcoal or something. Moo Moo Milk. Ooh. Hang on, item. Take. That is super good. Okay. I am all the way down with this. Um, but back to that long rant I was doing, or not necessarily long rant, but long forgotten rant I was doing earlier. Um, okay, um. I'm just gonna run from you just because there's a trainer right here. Um, about setting it to set mode. 
Um, it honestly, it just makes the game like way more fun and dynamic. Cause like I was watching ever since I started playing with set. Ooh, whoa, 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 hold up. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're actually about to wipe right here. Uh, also, there's going to be an attempt counter and a death counter on screen. Um, so we're probably about to just get wiped out in attempt one. That's going to be fun, unless I actually get like a uh, fire type move right here. Also, he's probably just going to keep string shotting me. Um, and I'm not, but it just makes like all of the all battles just way more dynamic because I've again ever since I play started playing. In set mode, it's kind of ruined watching poke any kind of Pokemon Let's Play that doesn't use it. Because I'm just sitting there watching. And I'm just like, you know, you would just flat out lose a Pokemon here uh, if you're playing on set mode, which would make it like way, way more like intense. Because like, I don't know. I've gotten to this point where uh, if I'm like watching someone like play a game and like there's like no tension, I guess, it's like. It's kind of hard for me to, like, get invested, I feel. Like, specifically, like, probably, like, during, like, RPGs. Like, if it's, like, a more of, like, an action game. I don't know. I actually don't... Because I also don't watch, like, much game, like, gameplay anymore. Like, usually, like, if I do, it's, like, a horror game, something like that. Also, I'm just going to speed up. Oh, freak. Okay. Of course. And we're just going to probably... Okay, we're, we're going to wipe here. Yep. All right. That's attempt one. All right. Where's the, where's the reset? Reset. Alright. Attempt one down the drain. Alright. New game. I'm just I'm just going to speed up through all this stuff because we've already gone through it. I can't believe I lost attempt one. I want to go with the girl again just because we didn't like actually get a chance to do that. Okay. Note to self. Grind. Before the first trainer fight. Alright, alright, alright. And now that I know that button, sick. Yes. Yada, yada, yada. Um, but so I think it's specifically like during like RPGs where like if there's like no tension in like the fights, then it just becomes like less interesting to even watch. And specifically Pokemon where it's like, I, there's a way that you can make this game more fun and enjoy. Oh, freak, we have to do, do the whole time thing again? Alright. It is 119. No, hang on. One and nineteen. I'll, I'll just make it twenty. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yep. Leave me alone. Nope. Wait. Ooh. Okay. Um, but it's just like, I don't. Specifically, people like complaining about like Pokemon needing to be harder, and saying that Pokemon's never been hard is just like play one of the older games and set it to set mode, dude. That'll, that'll, like, completely change how you think of it, probably. Just because it does make it, like, genuinely way harder. You're literally taking it up from, like, easy mode to, like, hard mode at that point. Just because, like, if you have it set to shift, you basically... Unless you literally have nothing... Well, after you basically take out the first person's Pokemon, you just control the tempo of the fight, like, constantly after this. Also, yeah, we're just going to do Charmander again because there's literally no reason not to. Honestly, and honestly, I just need to like level him up to the point where he gets a fire type move, and then we'll be good against that first trainer, probably. I feel bad for anyone who picks Bulbasaur here, because freaking the first move you will get is like Vine Whip, and then you won't be able to do anything against that. Granted, you'll also be a Poison type, so it's not like it—it's not like it'll you'll be able to get poisoned, um, unless it's like by point. Granted, if it's by Poison Point, I think that still works. I'm not entirely too sure about that. No, but it, it's just being like the pr way that I prefer to play. Hey there, guys. Sorry about that cut. It would not be a dark bender without a cut in it, though. I say as... Okay. Um, I say that, but there won't be really context to that because... uh, hang on, is, is my mouse appearing? Sick. It's not. Um, and now I can start grinding. Um, the reason I say that is because I started doing like other... Oh, wait. I didn't heal. Is because I started recording like other let's play type things. Um, one of which got scrapped because it was a game. It was it was a gotcha game. It was a sort of online game. 
Um, and I was playing through it, and I was actually really enjoying it, because I feel like it's, like, the super unique, like, the gameplay might not be, like, the most unique or, like, technical or anything like that. But it was, like, just presented in, like, a fun way, so I was having a really fun time. But then there was this error, which basically... Oh, yeah, okay, Ember. Which, uh, basically made it so that I had to restart the entire game, which is apparently a super common issue. Um... And I was like, okay, I just it's just because I didn't have a transfer code or anything like that. Wait, hon, does Moo Milk act like an... I kind of want to try it. Hang on. Bag. Wait. Did we sort the bag? There's no way that could be a health item. That's way too strong. Um, I th also think I'm going to get up to level 8. Um, better. I just can't go over level 22 again. Level cap should be on the screen. Um... But then, as I was playing, like, I, I got back up to, like, where I was before I had to delete it. And I even had, like, seven episodes or something recorded. But then the error happened again. And I just kind of sat there, like, I really don't want to go through the effort, effort of uninstalling and then reinstalling everything and going through the super long download just to do everything over again. Especially since they're, like, if this is the second time it's happened in, like, a month... Then what the freak is even the point of, like, playing it if I have to keep going through, like, basically, like, jumping through hoops to play? Yeah, honestly, if there weren't any efforts of that, I would really, really like that game. But there were just a ton of issues. But every episode I did, I had to make a cut because something interrupted me. Every single episode, without fail. And along with that, I'm also doing a, uh... I started recording, uh... The Fate Stay Night visual novel. And there are... This is only a 35-minute episode, all right? And there are already two interruptions in there. So, that's, that's fun. That's fun. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, no. This is definitely the way. Honestly, if you picked Bulbasaur... Apparently, this creator just doesn't like Bulbasaur, because he made the first trainer a bug-type user with four guys. And the first gym leader is also bug-type. So, he was just like, oh, yeah, no, Bulbasaur, that's just the inoptimal way to play this game, all right? Because honestly, you probably have to like grind up like probably like nine or something, especially with all these freaking venipedes, dude. Uh, to be able to beat this. Whereas Charmander, maybe Charmander is just easy mode for this game. Dude, 129 x that's so freaking much. D oh, dude. I wonder if like, because I don't have any like documents with this, but I wonder if there's a. Uh, if Charmander actually gets Dragon Rage. Uh, I mean, if Charmeleon gets Dragon Rage as soon as he does in some other games, because, dude, that would be wild. That's honestly, like, one of the best reasons to pick Charmander, like, post-Gen 4 in any of these kinds of games, is he gets freaking Dragon Rage, which is just completely busted. Ooh, also item. Potion. Um, also, I should feel like I should kind of talk about how, like, I'm doing encounters. Um, I'm not doing gift, like, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm not doing gift Pokemon. I will do gift Pokemon, but they're just the, they're the encounter for that area. And usually I do, like, uh, starting Pokemon is just, like, the encounter for the first time, like, or whatever. Um, but because of, like, this and Ruby and Sapphire, I'm like, I guess I can't really do that anymore, because, like, you don't get them there. I'll just count them as, like, the gift Pokemon that I get in that area. Um, so, like, here, oh, come on, dude. Um, I won't be able to go back to that central city, and even if I can fish in that spot, I won't actually be able to fish there, because that's where I got Charmander. But, like, let's say there's something back in the first town that opens up where I can get a po another Pokemon there, well, just a Pokemon in general there, then I'll actually be able to use that Pokemon. So that's just kind of how I do it. Otherwise, I feel like you can just, like, guarantee get a lot of really good Pokemon some places. You know what I mean? Uh, because you get a decent amount of, like, gift Pokemon throughout the series, I feel like. So it's like, especially in, like, these ROM hacks where it's like, oh, I walk into the city. Hey, you want this level 55 Dragonite? Yeah, sure, I would love that. Walk to the next house. Ah, oh, dude, you want this level 55 Salamence? Dude, I would love that. And maybe there could be, like, some kind of compromise there where, like, well, granted, that's really only in, like, ROM hacks. Also, I, that was the first attack I missed, I feel like. Oh, also, I don't know if there's a special physical split in this game. I would imagine that there is. Just because, like, 
I feel like you wouldn't put all this time and effort into making like the super custom game and also like be like, yeah, nah, uh, physical special split. That uh, I don't need that. Also, dude, what the fuck is up with all these first trainers having like five Pokemon? Freaking, we're gonna have Charmander level freaking twenty-two before we even get Pokeballs. All right. Is there anything on this rock here? No? Okay, so that's just the way to go. Um, doo -doo -doo. Do you guys do anything down here? Anything? When a Pokemon is poisoned, you should use an antidote to cure it. Yeah, okay, no. Alright, what about you, buddy? What do you got for me? I was watching you and saw that you're a Pokemon tra- Who the freak is this guy? I know that Pokemon really like to eat berries, and the best way to get this type of fruit, just use Thief on these small trees and you, wait, you just use Thief? A king? Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Oh, glad. Freaking, you can just, like, pick, like, items off of- okay, so he's just an ace trainer. From the side, I was like, what the freak is this anime boy? What the freak? But he's just a- he's, he's just a cool tra- no, not a cool trainer, ace trainer, who cares? Also, another freaking bug dude. Alright. Yeah, this guy really just sat down with Bulbasaur and was like, Alright, you're worthless. No one will ever love you. No one will ever pick you while playing this game. Holy freaking crap. Five Pokemon again. Okay. At this one, it's just free EXP. Like, there's no... There's no challenge to these guys right now. Just, there's just a lot of them and giving me a lot of experience. Maybe if I had, like, other Pokemon to use, then that would be an entirely different story. But right now, it's just Ember, Ember, Ember. Honestly, I thought that last guy was actually going to give us some trouble by lowering my accuracy, but then I was like, with the, with the Natsu, I was all like, nah, boy, I never miss, all right? Until he did that one time, but that doesn't count. Okay, I thought probably... You know, I unironically, though, I'm excited to, like, get Pokeballs and then come back here and get myself a Bidoof. Just because I, I, dude, I love Bidoof. He's such, he's such a doofy looking guy, and is like unironically, like a really good Pokemon. Like maybe not for like competitive, but for like casual playthroughs, I think he's great. Because hey, you can use him as like an HM slate, but then like, Water Normal, not that terrible of a typing. Um, and then just all the moves he get, like he's just such a versatile Pokemon, and his stats aren't that bad. Also, level five Metapods. Again, just free experience right here. Alright. Also, I feel like I should talk about, like, if the audio is, like, sounds a little bit weird, it's just because these Uhuru mics might not have been the best pick for me. Because, like, I was listening to them and I was like, ah, oh, dude, this audio quality sounds super good for the price. Um, but it only records... In Central City, there is a TV radio station that broadcasts radio and TV all over the world. That is how those stations work. Uh, ooh, dude, a whole potion. I really need that for all that damage I've been taking so far. Is there anything on this rock? I feel like there should be. Alright, what do I in this empty space? Boop. No, okay. Central City, okay, we're actually here. Can we go to, like, a Pokemon Mart? Or a, a Mart and just get some stuff? Ooh, obtained an... Oh, oh. boy! Alright, alright, alright. Well, now the next wild Pokemon I meet, I have to catch. But I kind of want to say, hold on to that. University and in horror. Nice name there. It's a very big city and offers many different fields of study. Ooh, hello, lady. My favorite item, I mean, my favorite Pokemon is Roselia. It's fragrant and beautiful, but it's also strong in battle. Wait, Roselia? No, it's... I mean, like, if, if you're talking about Roseray, sure, lady, but... All right, train station. Can we get my running shoes? Please. Now I kind of want to just talk... My, wait. Th this is the same text! How dare this creator be so lazy. I saw a Pokemon in Inhor Woods. That name will never be okay. Radio TV. Ooh! Okay, actual Pokeball time. Let's, let's go, baby. Alright. Ooh! This layout is so... It looks neat, but it's so inconvenient. Why isn't this the entrance right here? 
and no dude right here. You can buy anything from Pokeballs to antidotes. I agree. All right, let's see how much money I have. Do I got anything? But ooh, what the freak? No. Okay, well I don't really need potions, so I'll buy like two. E, gimme, 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 gimme. And then let's just grab a couple of antidotes. Specifically because there's so many freaking dog trainers. All right, let's go. All right, because I, I want to hold on to the Ultra Ball for when I actually need to catch something like that has like a harder catch rate, you know? But like, what the freak? Also, I'm supposed to be going to the east here. I want to, I want to see if there are any like good encounters. And I guess I'll, I guess we're just starting though. Because this, I'll count this route. This is such a weird situation where you get a Pokeball before you actually get Pokeballs. Okay, great, Fuchiana. Um, literally only usable. Uh, I honestly probably should have just avoided encounters in general. This will be the only route until I can like actually buy Pokeballs that counts. Um, just because like this is such a unique situation where it's like you get Pokeballs before you get get Pokeballs. Um, okay, okay. Uh, you're only good for Intimidate. And you're also going to be complete garbage against the first gym. So what the freak do I call you? Uh, is there some edgy anime character that I can... Like, who's a lady that I can name this after? Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have an idea. Google time, baby. Because literally no one is coming to mind. Edgy female anime character. There we go. Oh, dude, how did I not think of that immediately? Okay, okay, okay. Never even... I've, I've read... read, read blah, blah, blah. I can speak. I've read literally one chapter of this manga, and I was like, huh, that's neat. But then, just like the way that everyone describes how everything happens, it's like, wow, that sounds like garbage. I don't want to wait. I don't want to waste my time with that. All right. Now we actually have more than one Pokemon. Doop, doop, doop. All right. But yeah. Literally, all I'll ever use this for is like I feel like I'll need like an Intimidate user, and that's probably going to be it. Just because Poochyana is just not very good in any way, honestly. All right. All right. Let's do this. All right. We probably should have actually like grinded just a few levels. Ooh, also I like that sprite. I feel like I've, I feel like that's a normal sprite. I feel like I, uh, it's also not, if that makes any sense. Like if, it's one of those things where it looks a little bit familiar, but it's also like, where have I seen that before? You know. Um, but yeah, this is actually a terrible mis time to bring her out. Uh, well, it freaking has astonish. Are you kidding? That is that it? Because it's probably just gonna try and flinch us out. Granted, that could actually. With my horrible, horrible luck. Um, honestly, it'd probably flinch us every single time. Ooh, that, those stat gains are not uh, very appealing right now. Starly. Wait, I have it set to... Oh, I forgot to change... Okay. I'm just not going to use it until I can go back to the... Level 6. All right. I mean, that's hard for any of my other Pokemon. But for freaking Natsu out here being an absolute... Uh, just Chad. Just one-shotting everything. Do no. Again, I, I'm I'm too scared to send this out because at these low levels, any level difference is just those like guaranteed loss. You know what I mean? So I really don't want to use it yet. Seventy tree. Oh my gosh, I want to be evolved. Like next trainer. No, I don't. I don't need to switch out, bro. Oh, let's. For some reason, I thought Weasel, and I was like, oh boy, are we actually gonna? Are we actually going to get hit with a challenge right here? But never mind. It's all good. It was just a blitzel. Alright. And this this is all she wrote. This is not... I just need... Okay. New game plan. Gonna get Poochiana up to like level 7. Switch training time, baby. Alright, here we go. You're a great battler. Use sound tactics in your fight. Dog, I agree. Ember... Top tier strategy. I don't think enough people use it. Alright. I'm just gonna switch out just for the sake of speed. Do 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 do. Okay, only 15 
Ooh. Okay, well, it's just increasing its defense. Okay, I can actually do this. I can do this, baby. Now I'm really glad I... Well, granted... Now, Ninjask probably isn't better in any way. Are you kidding me? Alright, alright, enough of this bullshit, alright. Ninjask probably isn't better than Poochiana. I'm just gonna switch out here. Uh, well, it's not better than Mightyena. Because, like, all it has is, like, speed. Like, whenever I try using one, it just, like, nothing ever pans out very well. Also, that, that's some hardcore one damage. Okay. Okay. That actually got a little too scary right there. Where's the Pokemon Center? What the freak is... What the freak is this? Hold up. Pokemon... Those are a thing in this game? Pokemon... Saf the Safari Zone's right here? I can just do the Safari Zone? What the freak? Okay. Oh, I don't think I ever... I'm way too ADD. Um, I don't think I ever... Did I ever explain why I... this The mic was bad. Basically, just really quick, if I already did. Ooh, can I get the Shinx? No, okay. Ooh, an amulet? Ooh, I'll take that gladly. Alright. Um... But it's basically because you can only, it only picks up sound if you're like standing like directly in front of it and speaking like directly into it. But I move around a lot where I like shift my weight constantly and it's like, ugh, this is probably a mistake. Just because like the audio will just sound like a bit different whenever I like uh, talk. Wait, did I just say it only gives like normal type Pokemon? Hang on, hang on. What'd you say, boy? As far as you can, but I prefer, oh, he prefers normal type Pokemon, okay. Dude, there are so many good things in the freaking city. I kind of wanted someone to give me another Pokeball, though, just so I can get back to catching more Pokemon. Uh, and, man, they really are obsessed with the Inhor University. The first room of the Zephyr League is located in Inhor City. The, the, yeah, I get it. All right? Charmander's about to fodderize this man's whole career. My Charmander and his lucky sidekick, Poochiana. Who will not be used whatsoever. Can I go to the Safari Zone right now, though? Like, if I can, I don't see why I shouldn't. Alright, alright. Let's, let's do this. Also, if I use the speed up button too much, I apologize. It's just like I hate how slow walking in these games are. Welcome to the Pokemon Safari Zone. You can go to one of two different environments. Whoa, what? Marsh. I feel like Marsh will give me, like, water, ground, rock-type Pokemon. What, what will Field Zone give me? Let's, let's go to the Marsh. Yeah, let's do the Marsh Zone, all right? Also, I'm going to go through this mostly blind. Like, this entire game is mostly blind. Uh... Just because I feel like if I don't, I don't know if it'll be too easy. Because, again, I beat this when I was a... Ooh, I'll take a crow gunk. Um, go near. What the freak does go near mean? Um, but because I did beat this, like, when I was a kid. And I don't remember how too difficult it was. I remember it being hard. But I don't know if it was, like, super hard. You know what I mean? So I'm just kind of, like, going through, like, trying to feel it out. It, like If, like, going through blind is the best way to do this. Granted... I lost attempt one, literally in the first, uh, like, fight, basically. Uh, so maybe this game is hard and I shouldn't be going through it blind, but we'll see. Because if I had seen that that was how the first fight was going to be, then I wouldn't have. Um... Alright, I'm going to spell this person's name and it's going to be horribly, horribly wrong. Probably. I feel like this is how Jiraiya is spelled. Uh, not with the Q. Bam! There we go. Alright, we actually we actually have a team. This is incredible. Alright. Yeah, I wanna leave. Yeah, let me let me go. Alright, boy. Let's get back to the grind. And honestly, Crow Gunk. Not the best. Also, why do I keep freaking missing? 
tackles before he even knows my accuracy. Come on, bro. Oh. Well, now I feel real bad because I forgot that they're... What the freak is... Okay. This is slightly frustrating. Just slightly. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's bring out Krogan, though. I feel like I should have gone... Because I should have figured out that freaking, uh... He was going to be in the marshlands, or at least thought of that, just because I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure he is in, uh, Platinum. Um, so, so it really, ah, man. But he's also not a bad option, just because, uh, freaking, come on! Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go grind on the lower route where there aren't crow gunks to lower my accuracy. Yeah, this is slightly frustrating. Okay, okay. Because he, him being a poison type, it'll work out fine as long as uh, none of the. Oh, that's some sexy damage. Wait, how is it? How is that not. Okay, I would have died to a crit right there. I should play around that. Okay. How is that not lowering its accuracy? I didn't know that we. I mean, that. Uh, what's, what the fuck is that thing's name? Uh, Wormpole has an ability that prevents stat lowering? What the freak? That is legitimately news to me. Although, it's probably just changed, you know? Oh, also, we are... Alright, back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, okay, I can already tell that this is going to be a fun grind. Can we just get the running shoes so I don't have to speed up anymore? Alright, I think level 8 shouldn't be too bad of a level to try and get to. Because all you gotta think about is, like, every level we get, it'll just become easier and easier to level up, because we won't have to go back and forth between the Pokemon Centers, like, a thousand times. Also, I just want them to be level 8, just because, so then they can be, like, slightly competitive with, uh, Charmander. But generally, the only thing I'm worried about is, like, actually over-leveling, just because of how many Pokemon it seems like the enemies all have. Alright, here we go. Alright, this is... I meant to click B. See, this is slightly... Because I'm pretty sure... I just need to configure the controls after this. Okay, yeah, I can't use Astonish on that boy. It's because I'm used to... I'm Whenever I play, uh... On Desmume, I use, uh... X has A, but... Oh, fuck! No! No! Alright. 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 Okay. I, like, literally... Gosh darn it. Let this be a note. I was sitting there tucking, and my brain registered, Wow, that's about to kill me. But then I still click the attack button, because, like, gosh darn it, I don't know. It's just kind of one of those things where you're just kind of, like, in autopilot. Alright, whatever. Who? Nothing of value was lost. He was level 4, and grinding him was kind of awful. I say, as I'm actually pretty upset that we just lost him. Because I like Krogunk a lot, and he's also not a terrible Pokemon. Granted, his moves here were not really very fun to use, just because they kind of were trash, but that's okay. Alright, 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 alright. And we're almost... Oh, so this, these Bidoofs are just kicking our trash, dude. Okay, They're, you're level 2, dog. Also, can... Freaking... Akami, can you please not miss a tackle? So, yeah, that crit will kill us there. I just don't trust Akami not to miss anymore, dude. Also, I'm just going to use a potion. I'm speeding up this whole process. I realize I'm getting a little impatient, but the... Oh, freaking, I didn't even click that. But that's just because, like, there are so many problems right now, and it's like... It's not necessarily the game's fault, it's just, like, me not being used to things. Uh, on here. Also, kind of the game's fault for missing tackle. Nine times out of ten, it feels like. Okay, okay, we're almost there. We we're almost to level eight. I did not realize how bad of a Pokemon Puchiana was, dude. Holy freaking crap. 
Well, at least we're on even playing field this time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Dude, we're almost dead. All right, we got this. Okay. Fuchihana. Oh my lord, okay. One more potion. Let's go. You know, this might just turn into a Natsu solo run, which uh, doesn't sound like the worst idea at this point. Just because of how underwhelming Fuchihana is in its entirety. Like, I realize I have Howl and I could be utilizing that, but his defense... I mean, her defense doesn't really, like... Allow, I feel like allow me to use setup moves, you know? Alright, now let's actually go fight Pokemon who are like around our level. Can you get the freak out of my way, bro? Wait, are you not a trainer or anything? Okay. Yeah, we're actually going to be fighting Pokemon on our level. So if a level 2 Bidoof can ruffle us up pretty bad, I'm not, I'm not excited to see how uh, she does against an actual trainer. Alright, I, I just dropped the wood to my water bottle. Whatever, it's fine. I'll pit out. Oh! Level 8? Okay, and it has acid. Alright, yeah, we're in crit rage automatically, and we're slower than it. You know, I when I said Natsu solo run, I was joking. That was meant to be a Josh, a ha 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 ha, you know? Poison ga it has poison gas? Alright, Natsu, you gotta finish this shiz, alright? Okay. Okay, we... Okay, it's missing. It's just missing every attack. If at any point we're forced to switch back into... Also, I forgot to set it back to switch mode. If at any point we're, first, we're forced to switch back to uh, Akame, uh, the run's over. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should've caught a Bidoof instead. That should've been the game plan. Also, another Stunky. Alright, alright, Ember. This one better not have Poison Gas, too. Probably does. Oh, come on, dude! Oh, can't this drop special defense? I'm pretty sure that attack has a chance to drop special defense, and I'm not okay with that idea. Okay, 150, 151 experience. Holy crap, dude. Natsu's gonna evolve after this fight, probably. Using a Shinx. Okay, so he probably has two Shinxes then, based off his other two Pokemon. At least this one can't... Oh, okay. Well, Intimidate doesn't do anything. Intimidate does not do anything at all right now. Should I level up Akami more after this fight? Should I get try and get her up to, like, level, like, 12? I feel like I kind of should. Just based on the sheer principle that in her first fight against a trainer out of the same level as her, she just got curb stumped relentlessly into the ground. Also, probably not. Ooh, Pachirisu. I'm pretty sure Pachirisu actually gives out a decent amount of experience. Okay. Okay, and it's level 10. What the freak is this level curve? I mean, I guess this makes for a hard Nuzlocke, but I'm also sitting here just like, dog, what the freak? Unless you actually talk to that guy, you'd only have one Pokemon against all these dudes. What the freak? Granted, it's not like I need more than one Pokemon, considering Charmander uh, literally just walked out here and was like, Alright, I got this. Time to wipe out four more guys. Again. Alright, alright, you suck. No one loves you. Um, bag, potion, Akame. Alright, alright, we're gonna... Hang on, is there... Okay, plot is down here. I probably shouldn't have used that potion. It doesn't really matter. Seagold, Feebas are in season. They appear by the thousands at this time of year. Although they are brave, they rarely attack people and rarely appear at other times. Very interesting, Professor. Thanks for the t thanks for the tip. I think I'll try to catch one. Bloop, bloop. All right, all right. I, I get it. There are there are Feebas. Wow, amazing, Professor. I've fallen in love with these Pokemon. I'll catch one right now. Go, Pokeball. Wow, I captured a Feebas. It looks like a good Pokemon. What? The Feebas is attacking me. Professor, I'll save you. As it slowly pans back to me, the hero of this story, out to stop the rampant Feebas who is attacking Professor Oak on land. Mmm. 
Yes. Oh, dude, it's something that a comic can kill. Ah, oh, dude, I see why Professor Oak was getting so messed up by this boy. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine having to fight a Feebas. I use Splash. Ah. Oh. 20 shicks. Thank you. But did he ask my name? I didn't see that. It's dark. Professor Jasmine asked me to tell you that she is doing important research on the creation of the universe and needs your help. She wants to show you her results. She's in her lab in Yellowtown. Thank you, Dark. I'll head there right away. Oh, this is my assistant, Gold. Nice to meet you, Dark. You look like a skilled Pokemon trainer. Dude, that was that was a tough fight, alright? You did see a lot of my skill right there. I've only... I already lost one attempt and one Pokemon in this run, so I you could say I'm a pro. You look like a... Oh, I hope I'll face you myself someday. I'll say the same thing to you. Well, I'll be on my way now. Thanks, Dark. Goodbye. Alright, well, that was a thing. Hey, fight me! Look at this beautiful lake, I love it! Alright, never mind, don't fight me, dick. I didn't need... Ooh, dude, a water stone? What the freak? Hang on, is this kind of like a different area? Rune? No. No, it does not. Alright. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go back to the lab then. Alright, I don't know if I could walk through there. Yeah, I'm just gonna grind a Kame just a little bit. Just because that was really sad. And there were Pokemon that sh that trainer had that they were higher level than ours. Like, I think three of her Pokemon were higher level. Oh my gosh, a Kame. Why are you such garbage? You're level 8 getting wrecked by a level 2 and 3 Bidoof. Alright, no, Bidoofs are no-goes. We'll just have to stick to messing with Caterpies, I guess. I mean, Wurmples, Wurmples. I know Pokemon. Alright, alright, alright. Do you think level 9 will be okay for now? I kind of don't think so. Uh, uh, I don't... Let's just, let's just keep going back home, though. Because uh, maybe I'll get Pokeballs here. Hi, Professor Oak. Welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor Jasmine. Dark told me I had to come here. Quickly, so I'm here to learn about your research. Jasmine, yes, Professor. With Dark's help, I've been studying... Oh, I forgot to change it to fast, too. Ancient writings about the creation of the universe. They said that Arceus created the whole world and all the Pokemon. Incredible! This actually related to my latest research into Pokemon DNA. It seems all species have the same small trait in common. Yes, Professor. Right now, that's all I know. I'll send you full documents on the CD. Okay, Professor. I'm going. I'm going to my research center in Zeri City, Cent uh, Central City Radio Tower. Let me know immediately if you have any problems. Okay. Do you really need to come here for that, Jasmine? Good job, Dark. I've registered you into the Zephyr in the Zeri League. Now you can fight the gym leaders and become a powerful trainer. Congratulations and take care. Team Steam's still after you. Yo, dickhead, you wanna give me some fucking Pokeballs? Before you leave, here's a little gift for me. <gasps> Obtained the Pokeball. Just the one. Wait, is it the just one? Hang on. Okay, no, she did give me five. Okay. Yo, assistants, you wanna give me anything? Alright, no? Alright. Why don't you? Alright, no. Alright, 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 I see, I see. Alright, weird that I had to talk to her again to get the Pokeballs, but that's alright. Also, I like that Arceus statue, it actually looks pretty sick. Alright, boy. Alright. I'm kind of wondering how long I should make these episodes, because I did have, like, that, like, 15-minute interrupt. Oh! Did we just get God? Listen, this game may be about Arceus, alright? Oh, dude, I thought we were actually going to kill it there for the first time ever. Um, okay, let's do this. I kind of didn't think that was going to do that much damage, considering how bad she's been doing against the doofs. Alright, come on, dude. What? Come on. Alright, who's a good freaking character to name this after, though? Who the freak? Hang on. Uh... You know what? 
I'll name it after the closest thing to God in anime. Alright, 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 alright. This isn't going to make any sense outside of the fact that they're just the strongest things ever. Alright, bam. There we go. Escanor, the Bidoof. Alright, alright. We'll grind him in a second. Oh, I need to talk to my mom. Is she please going to give me the running shoes? Hey, Dark, you need to break down. Okay, well, fuck you too, Mom. I don't want, I don't want your hand-me-outs anyway. Stupid. Alright. You know, hopefully just fighting the wild Pokemon on the way to whatever city we're going to next will be enough of training for, uh, for Akame. Probably not, because they're giving us zero experience points. I'm just afraid, because I think we're about to go through a forest, so I'm like, dog. Akame is going to get just, just messed up, dude. Ooh, Route 402, baby. All right, all right, all right. Wait, what can I catch here? All right, baby, let's go. Uh, you know, we have a big honking... Okay, fake out. That's going to make that's gonna make this fun. We have a big old honking uh, fighting-type weakness going on in our team right about now. Um, So that's not good. That's way not good at all. Come on, actually catch. Please. I don't want to use two balls on you. You're a freaking Glammeow. Alright, Glammeow was caught. Um, alright, alright, alright. Who should I... There are two cat girls that I'm just thinking of immediately. I'm like, should I... Because I don't know when I get Purloin, but I think that both of these would match Purloin better. Just because these two turn into Pur Ugly. One of, like, the worst Pokemon designs ever. I, I hate it so much. Okay, so we actually have a route to go through before we get there. Okay, okay. Hi, Glamio. Run right away. Man, they're just annoying Pokemon to grind against. They're either super underleveled or just annoying. So can we get some, like, different guys to fight? Alright, no, we already talked to that guy. Um, Caterpie, Stunky, attack that Stunky with Tackle. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, so which way am I supposed to go? Is there any way over here? Uh. Uh, ha, ha. I'm a little confused. Also, those stairs could not have been placed more obnoxiously. Is there, is there no other way? I'll kill this thing just because? I guess? Wait, what if I talk to the other guy? They're just gonna be the same thing? Yeah. This battle is very important. Go away. Alright. I guess I'll hop on a train if I can. You you must have a ticket. Oh yeah, I forgot that. I think there are two regions in, in this game. So we must have a ticket. Where do I get a ticket? Do I need a ticket? I'm so confused. You know, whenever I see a fisherman, I'm just saying that like, please give me a fishing rod. I just want, I just want a rod, man. And all these ladies just want a Roselia. Okay. No, what the, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Did I miss something in the first town? Hang on. Uh, what the freak is happening? I kind of thought I could squeeze through there a little bit. No? Oh, what's up here? Quick, quick. <gasps> the Pokemon seems to have a Pokemon inside. <gasps> Dude, yes? Okay. 
I would like to... Wait, hang on, what? Did not give me the option to nickname him? No, oh, that, that, that's okay. At least we have uh, Natsu's only real weakness covered. Granted, also Elekid does kind of cover rock and ground types pretty well. Where the freak am I supposed to go? Very good, Dark. It seems like you were born to become a legendary trainer, too. I'll be following your journey from here. That doesn't help me, lady. Heal me. Thank you. I don't belong. I don't want to get... What the freak? Where am I supposed to go? Is there just a way out of this town that I'm just completely f***ing on? Do I have a town map? I do not. Also, I could probably give Poochyan a thief just to give it, like, a stab move. I guess I'll go see Professor Oak in his lab. Get the f*** out of my way, you dickhead. Oh, I'm glad. National Dax... See the net. That, that's just. I don't remember hearing anything about us needing. To, oh, dude, wait, no, I can't. I can't. Oh, fuck. Having a grass type wouldn't be that big of a bad thing. Dude, because then I would have had such a good core right there. Alright. But we also got. Uh, the, 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 the starter here sucks. Wait, is there, oh, there's a trainer here, okay. Alright, boy, oh, this is the combi guy, fuck, dude, alright. Alright, we're already starting off on a high note of sand attack, and we're gonna evolve. So, evolving before, there's just so many trainers, dude, alright, 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 alright. Bam. All right, bug catcher. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Mm. You know what, honestly? Between Charmeleon and uh, Elekid, I kind of don't think that the first gym is going to be like any trouble. But speaking of those guys, I should probably get to grinding them. Um, yeah, I should probably get to grinding all these guys. Um, I think I'm gonna try and get them all up at like level 11. Eh. Just because I feel like I could just level them all up to like level 16 and just steamroll this entire game. I'm like, that'd probably be a little lame. Tackle. Tackle. Bam. Alright, 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 alright. Um, also, in future parts, I was thinking, um. In terms of grinding. If it's talked about, like, down below, like, if you guys would prefer grinding or no grinding, or, like, what would you want? If you guys would like grinding, all I would probably say is, um, just leave questions down below for me to answer while I'm grinding, and then I'll talk about them. Or just topics that you would want to hear someone talk about in general, like, if you're just someone who's like, man, my favorite thing about dinosaurs is their big green eyes, or whatever. Then just go, hey man, talk about your favorite part of a dinosaur. And then I'll talk about dinosaurs. It doesn't have to be related to Pokemon. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. Also, really low on HP. Don't want to risk. Also, dude, just look at the boy. Just such an absolute unit right there, man. All right, all right, there we go. Uh, but just because of how much grinding there is to do right now, I think I might just cut the first episode here because that'll be a ton of freaking grinding. Um, and I'll just get everyone up to level 11 off screen. And if anyone dies, then I'll just put them in the box. Uh, but yeah, until next time.